Dr. Rhonda Patrick here. In my last video entitled Maximizing Your Mitochondria with Magnesium, we discussed the important role magnesium plays in maximizing your mitochondria and how this can help you enhance exercise performance. I mentioned to you that over the half of the U.S. population is deficient in this essential mineral. Today we're going to dive into the underlying mechanisms causing this magnesium deficiency. Currently, the average intake of magnesium in the U.S. population is around 200 to 300 milligrams a day. The RDA levels are set at 400 milligrams a day. These levels are set based on the minimum amount of magnesium necessary to avoid severe health consequences. They are not set on the optimal levels necessary to ensure maximum function in the over 300 different biological processes in your body that are magnesium dependent. Let's discuss the three main reasons we're all starving for magnesium in this country. First and foremost, this is the number one cause of magnesium deficiency in the United States, and that is the increased consumption of caloric rich and micronutrient poor foods. Caloric dense foods, such as processed foods, sugars, meats, and dairy products, have no appreciable levels of magnesium. That's because magnesium is at the center of the chlorophyll molecule. Chlorophyll is what gives plants their green pigment. The second reason is due to magnesium absorption. So other foods that are high in magnesium include oat bran, legumes, and wheat. However, these products are all high in phytates. Phytates are the sor phosphorus source in these products, and humans are unable to digest phytates. However, phytates bind up minerals such as magnesium. Therefore, when we consume things like oat bran or legumes, then we're not able to digest or absorb the magnesium because of the phytates. The third reason is due to excretion. So after we absorb the magnesium from our intestines, our kidneys filter out the magnesium and then we reabsorb 95% of that magnesium and excrete about 5%. And that's under normal conditions. There's some disease states like type 1 and type 2 diabetes that can rapidly increase the excretion rate of magnesium. In addition, alcohol consumption can double the excretion rate of magnesium. The bottom line is, magnesium deficiency is widespread due to our increased consumption of processed foods, meats, and dairy products, and our decreased intake of green chlorophyll-containing vegetables. In order to combat this major problem, we need to change our dietary habits and increase the consumption of green chlorophyll-containing vegetables. Supplementing with magnesium can also help. Magnesium citrate has been shown to be the most bioavailable form of magnesium supplements. And make sure you don't take enteric coating magnesium supplements as they can decrease the bioavailability by 67%. And lastly, if you're going to go out for a night of binge drinking, make sure you replenish your magnesium levels the next day by eating a big plate of spinach or drinking a spinach smoothie. I'm Dr. Rhonda Patrick and I'll catch you next time.